Hey everybody, CVH here, and in today's video, we have some more arena highlights. So I recently had a pretty interesting Crusader draft. Unfortunately, the deck did not perform as well as many of mine did. Actually, it was one of the worst performing decks I've had in a while, only getting to four wins. But I did want to feature a couple games from it because it sort of exemplifies one of the things I really enjoy in arena. I mentioned this a lot on stream. The reason I play arena so much, besides the awesome rewards being totally worthwhile there, is a feeling of being able to utilize cards that aren't particularly constructed playable and uh, and combos that you don't normally get to see in that format on the ladder or in tournaments or whatever in arena a lot of those cards that are to put it bluntly pretty bad and constructed get a lot better and the synergies sort of you know make themselves apparent for the first time so i actually got to play with a card that i don't think i've ever played in constructed uh dramora marquinez and i didn't usually get to play this card in arena either because i you know as you can might be tell from my between the lanes tier list on arena i don't think the card is particularly too good in arena uh very over at 10 magica but in this draft it was the correct pick so i did get to actually test it out and uh in these two games that i've highlighted you'll get to see some Dramora Marquinez action. As always, if you enjoy, feel free to leave a like, feel free to subscribe to the channel, follow my stream so you can see some of these games live in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy some Dramora action in Arena. There is a legitimate argument to be made for what I'm doing with it, which the Google Sheet, though, which you're just, like, manually typing all the stats because it makes you think about them. It's like the argument teachers used to use to say, like, well, you shouldn't just record the lecture, just take notes during the lecture. Like, actually do it. Because it makes you think about what you're writing, at least part of your brain is dedicated to thinking about it, whereas if it's automated, you might not think about the implication of all these stats, just don't overthink about it. So, this hand curves pretty well, and then all of a sudden... Womp. <laughs> How it mined the data? Oh, that's odd. Yeah, I guess it's different in this game than in Hearthstone. I heard something about how the coding works. Which I didn't understand, because I don't know stuff like that. They make it too easy. Hey, we can guard against that one too. It's less favorable, but still fine. I, hear and obey. I only play against Battle Mages right now as the only good counter. Uh, there's like two different popular Battle Mage decks, and it's kind of important to know which one you're playing against. We'll see how they because like one of them is very aggressive back. and has certain matchups against certain things, and the other one kind of flips the matchups. <laughs> so, is it like the hyper aggressive one with a lot of prophecies? Or is it the uh, slower one with Supreme Matromancers and Markarth Bannermans and stuff like that? We'll see how they like someone who I hear and obey. Stands with me. Control Mage should be good against either. That's one deck that should be good against both. That's so good right now. This should be good. Control Mage typically has enough answers against Americ Battle Mage to uh, stave off the threatening combos and cards, and it's just naturally really favored against most aggro decks. Uh, however, if you're thinking about like Sorcerer deck, you'll be really good against Americ on average, but you'll probably be super weak to the really aggressive one. Why did he ward the cut purse instead of the bird? I don't know. As long as I draw breath. Totally fine with this. The ambition of the Telvani knows no bounds. We'll hold no matter what. All right, now that's something I'll do over Battle Rage. My apologies for all of your eardrums. And he misses the ally, man. It's not his day. I trade four and one in the left. Wait, how much damage do we have? Three, six, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen. So yeah, I guess we can do some trading, but I guess I'll just use this to keep the most things on board since we're not going to kill him this turn or next turn. It's 
handbag until Dramora. <laughs> oh no. Mildly annoying cards. Ah! Should we just do that? Should we just stall until we win with the Dramora Marcanas? What have we here? Shall we begin? I feel like Shall we definitely we could. Oh my god, we could. Oh wait, no, he's buffing shit. Ugh. By one. He's getting random. Alright, now I'm, now I'm nervous, man. Tell Vani. Tell Vani always has it out for me. Oh, it really does, though. <laughs> that killed something and buffed his dudes. Zero magical left. Ugh. Alright guys, alright, we're getting close, this is definitely not very good, oh no that's a swing card, with zero magic left on the clock going for a desperate pass and he makes it. <laughs> Praise to our unholy matron. Alright. It's pretty annoying. The worst part about this is, is we can stall until Dramora and it's gonna be not good. <laughs> it's just not very good. Why is it not very good? Because I wanted to one-shot him. I don't want to break the rune. Doesn't have any good attacks. But I kind of want it on board. Uh... I'm ready for anything. What does the support do that he played? You're gonna love it. Uh, it has three uses. Activate is transform a creature card into your hand from your hand into a random legend, which would be any unique legendary creature card. Right, Lane it? I, I kinda wanted to buff that too, it's interesting. Oh man, he didn't play around Dramora. Misplay. Also he didn't switch anything first. Maybe he doesn't have any other creatures. Dramora is about to do something. I do have a video on my channel from a long time ago where I got two of these in the mirror lane in Chaos Arena. It was nuts. It's like a 2020. Your beginning is at hand. Didn't think I'd be killing someone with Dremora today. I admire the hatred in your heart. The hunter becomes the hunter. Oh yeah, 8-2. It's like I equipped the 4-1 item to it for 10 Magicka. It has been an Somehow does not feel worth it. Let's find out. Yellow Tegra. A0 lol, how's it going? GG. You were my first loss this run. Never thought I'd see the day I face you in Arena. Why not? I play a lot of Arena. You're probably more likely to play me than most other streamers. For this game at least. Pretty sure none of them love arena like I do. Got both ends of the curve here. At your service. Oh, you like Shadow Mirror? That's so interesting. I keep assuming that it's just terrible. Training is over. It's time to act. Wait, it's good for me. Yeah, but it's like super late in Europe, like to the point where they can't even watch usually. I usually like to end around now and start at like 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern, but I started like two hours late today. Happens. Happens sometimes. Alright, we shall contest. And try to surprise him with the scimitar. Wait. Did you hear that? Okay. 
You can't defeat me. I hear and obey. The chief is ready to help. If he has an answer for this 3-3, having the veteran in the right helps me a lot to deal with the cut purse. If not, I may wind up regretting it, but it's fine-ish if the 5th Legion has to trade in next turn. We're kind of running out of dudes to play anyway. Works. Dwarven Spider in the deck. Ooh. What did he pick it over? Oh, maybe he has a goblin skulk? No, it's still not worth it. We'll see how they like some of your What an only cycle. We'd cycle and push for one extra damage this turn, but pretty irrelevant. Might need it down the line. Shadow Mirror is almost useless for its special effect, but for me, just one more cheap charge creature. Yeah, if you need like a fourth Raw Nord, but I think Raw Nords are pretty awful by themselves anyway. <laughs> so I may be biased. Wow. I think this man has a Halls of the Dwemer. Or a mechan my Mechanical Allies is not even in Arena. They removed it. Which I think is wrong, but that's neither here nor there. Discarding Tiger and Raid, what did he get? Those cards are pretty good. Man. This is just a, a puzzler. My claws are sharp. As long as I draw breath. If I fall. I hear and obey. Dwarven Spider OP, it costs OP, it costs zero mana. <laughs> zero. I just wanna know what he got. I guess we're about to find out. That's the card, right? The one second to the left, I'm pretty sure. Wait, no it's not. Wait, this it? I don't even remember. Should have been paying more attention. Still a pretty good trade for me. As long as I draw a breath, my claws are shot. We must break two their the ranks. Friend. Don't think it's worth rapid shutting that one one. MTG has proven anything that costs zero can be, can be OP. If this I might be another Dremora game, guys. I'm probably gonna have to trade into that anyway. I think I'll just cycle on this. Good pickup, and we don't really need this effect, do we? You'll pay for this. My own sees bright blade. I think we're kind of comfortable just taking over both lanes and holding off a bit. I'm honestly not sure, Malarkey. <laughs> Alright, now I'll go in for a big pillager. Which we can make even larger when we double it with Dremora. <laughs> oh man. There's a plan. There's always a plan. Don't 
that was some interesting ordering. Like two off a of lethal, I think. I admire the hatred in your heart. Spill their blood. My own six right play. Hey, thank you, NJ Otter, for the follow. Welcome to the stream. They make it too easy. Yeah, I much prefer online card games, to be honest. <sighs> I can stream it, I can play it whenever. Totally fine. But hey, less competition for us, right? Or more value in arena. 